And g'day guys, Calvin, Carching Company in New Zealand. So this isn't actually one of the trucks that I've done myself, but it's brought into me by a customer and we've done a bit of a, a maintenance setup on it. Stuff that should have been done when the conversion was done. But we've done all that now and it's it's a goodie. It's a real sweetheart of a truck. This, this truck here happens to be the man's dream vehicle. He really wanted a Hilux. This is an LN, well, was an LN 106, which is the sought after model. It's got the solid front end in it, proper off-road. It's got the big bull bars put on it. And of course, it's got that thing, is, which is why he came to see me. Just an early UZ. And the conversion all around has actually been done pretty nicely. I see a lot of conversions, and I see a lot of really poor conversions, but this one, even though there were a few issues, all in all was, is pretty well done for a home done conversion. Everything, mostly everything worked, and there was just a few things that weren't done when it was swapped that was sort of icy as maintenance, so it's, it's been done now as maintenance. We popped some injectors in it, some leads and plugs and some connectors, different wiring connectors. And I sorted out a little bit of the wiring like I normally do. But that's for another video. Let's have a look over the truck. See what we've got. Because there's a lot of guys interested in this. I actually was watching um, one of my subscribers videos last night. Who was doing one of these over in Oz. In his driveway. And I've got massive, massive respect for guys doing it. On flat ground without a hoist. And they turn out jobs like this. Which is pretty damn impressive. So as I said, it's a 106 Hilux. It's actually got some LED headlights, which over here, these ones, they can actually be made legal because it's a complete replacement. It's got the, the bull bar on it, which is pretty handy, and hanging in there is a, is a winch for if you really get stuck. We got a alloy radiator. This one's from a local company in New Zealand, Redline. And this is an early, early engine. It's, the leads that came off were around about 1991. It's the early billet fuel rail engine. So that's one of the reasons I know it's an early one. We see it's got a front sump under here. Well, can we see that? Here we can. And it's still got the front sump oil filter housing on it. And the reason they can make that work it's had a little body lift and it only it doesn't look like a full two inches to me though we probably shouldn't talk about uh, the size of a man's blocks quite like that should we it's a bit personal uh, it had a hydraulic fan on it and it had an air conditioning pump on it they've been removed so the belt's been rerouted and it's still running the factory manifolds um, and the reason you can get away with that is with the body lift it just lifts them enough However, it has the three bolt flange cut off them. As we go out, we've got some good shocks in here too, which makes it work nicely. And we've got the big wheels, of course. And it gives it a pretty impressive stance, looking like that, without stuffing the handling too much. I let the customer get it dirty. I didn't want to get it this dirty, but it's okay when I bring him down. ECU mounting is, is tucked in behind the glove box and the back has been cut out for a little bit of access in the cabin we can see we've got a push button four wheel drive for the, the transfer case and the automatic a couple of gauges oil pressure and water temp the water temp on the dash still works but the oil pressure doesn't anymore and being double cab Hilux of course it does have back seats these aren't factory seats either, are they? No, they're factory seats. So, they're, they're not a factory factory seat, they're an aftermarket seat that's in there. Who needs four-wheel drive? Two-wheel drive auto? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. This has got to climb massive when you... If you really wanted to try something, wouldn't it? Yeah, yep, yep. That, no, it's pretty mean, eh? That handle's really nice. It's 
So in the box department, I'm not sure we're going to be able to see this, but we've got the factory Lexus Auto with a surf transfer case. It's got the electronic engagement on the back. Um, and under here we've actually got a couple of fuel pumps, which I'm not a fan of the fuel pump system, but it does the job. There's a little like surge tank up here and an external pump and then a, a lifter pump coming out of the tank. I prefer an in-tank pump, but this system does work. So it's lifting up into a little surge, feeding into an external pump, and it flows plenty of fuel. And of course, there's a filter before the pump, which is important, and the proper EFI filter up under the engine, in the engine bay. Body-wise, it has had a respray at some stage, and being four doors, it allows the man to put his kids in the back, go hunting. I did notice some hunting gear in the vehicle. It's got the box on the back and the good old flat deck. I like it, like up the open road. Yeah, you see, it's already smooth, right? Oh, I can just feel it. <laughs> I can, as soon as I started, I can hear the difference in the tone of the motor. I had a man come in the other day. And he talked to me about, he had a surf and he said he's got the surf and he wanted to cut the back off it and do all this stuff. And it's probably not the best decision when Toyota did it for him. And they put a solid front end in it. So that's the ideal vehicle. And, and that's why these are so sought after all around the world. Whether you're in New Zealand or even in Australia or South Africa, a solid front end, Hilux, from the mid 90s is probably going to be the pick of all the vehicles and from a money point of view it's pretty hard to lose money on one of these if you look after them they're always going to be sought after especially with that lexus in it and the auto the auto works really really well in this truck on the open road just fine and we scrambled up here through the bush in two-wheel drive and up a shitty muddy dirty track in two-wheel drive yeah, the back wheels were skidding, but it just chugged along beautifully. It's amazing how tractable that is, considering you're a two drive. Yeah. It was interesting to see that this one has actually got the twin batteries in it. So we've got the two, two batteries. And the fan switch. So they've used the port on the top of the thermostat for a fan switch. Added... An extra gauge in the top hose. I just split it, put a little stainless joiner, and it's still got the factory temp sensor, which is under by my finger. See, the throttle body has been modified as per many of the videos that I do. We did have to glue it back in while we were doing the repair. And interesting enough, it's got an extra bracket through here just to support the fitting for the airflow meter and give it a bit more support. It would probably like a bigger air filter, but that does the job. And it is tricky with those twin batteries in that engine bay. We fulfilled the brief that we were given. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was the goal. It's a little bit muddy. You'll cruise there, it's not too deep. So this is the middle of the park. Play, we'll have to play it here, you see? Oh, yeah. It doesn't grow a whole lot of grass, so it's okay if we make a little bit of a mess. You'll see here it's got the little tiny short oil filter that I use, which allows, again, with the body lift, and that oil filter does allow clearance to that chassis. Yeah. Not having engine braking is a bit of a pain. Yeah. But you're just going to need a little bit of Oh, it's got an upgraded uh, dampener on the front on the front steering as well. So it's had some good gear put into this truck, eh? This has got some really nice gear through it, and it's been really, really well done. And the bit of extra support, bit of clearance and, and, and protection under for the bottom of the radiator. With this radiator hanging up the bottom, there is a chance that they've actually used the later model Hilux radiator, which is a little bit longer. And that's why they've managed to get that aluminium radiator. So all in all, I think this is 
a bloody awesome truck. It's neat to see. It's neat to see guys looking after these trucks, getting them sorted properly. And it was a real pleasure to actually fix this vehicle and be able to do it properly. Like any conversion, there's always other stuff I'd like to do, but we did what we were asked to do, plus a bit extra, and it really made a difference. The, the man actually drove like two and a half hours to get here, and I made sure that he's got a tip-top job because it's such a lovely, lovely truck. And hopefully he's going to have a good run for a long, long time to come. Put, take this off and it fits on the back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it just pulls off, fits on the back, and then... Um, that's I, that's I a put cool bar. Surf, surfboards on there or, or whatever, white baiting nets. Whatever. So this bit here, yeah, it just pops up. Actually fits yeah. back here. Yep. Clips back into here. Yep. Well, that's cool, eh? So you actually got that extra gear on the back. Yeah. Ultimate vehicle for where you are and what you're doing. That's that's yeah. really cool, mate. Yeah, that no, suits me down to the T. Yeah. Beautiful job on the like the whole the bar work everything. The guy's really done a beautiful job and, yep. and guards yep. everything. Lovely. Yep. Oh, he loves Prima. so much today, and he's he's a real fussy guy. Just yep. wants to do everything properly. Yep, that is primo. It's good. Right, let's get you out of here. Yep. That's primo. Where's my dog? Harassing, Harassing ducks. <laughs> Catch up! Dog on the back. Get up. Yeah, we just got a new dog. Get up. Puppy, get up. Come on, miss. Good girl. Good girl. You're right. Good girl.